See, you sell somebody bad dope, they come punch you in your face. They come shoot at you. They come stab you. Yeah. yeah. So no one can shoot you in your face online. I mean, so guys get away with stuff easily. I take your money. I change my phone number. I take your money. I don't answer the phone. I take your money. I, I disappear in a web of LLCs, and, and now you can't find me. Wow. So, so I have no intentions on doing that with the Exodus Logistics Learning Center. My, my job is to train. My job is to take what's in here and pour it into the person who decided to take their hard-earned money and invest in what I'm offering. I have no intentions on doing that in a deceptive way at all. So when I get calls like what we just got from the guy who got shysted out of $1,500 for dispatch training, I'm like, no. I was almost tempted to let him in for free because how bad he got, you know. So how many of those calls do you actually get, though? Well, well, you've been hanging with me today. We just got here, you know, but uh, calls like that specifically or calls in general? Like that? Like that, I would say about three a week. Okay. Seven days a week, I'll get at least three. I get about 20 to 30 calls all the time. You know, you've been riding me, my phone been ringing all day. But, So yeah. you're saying at least three, four times a week, somebody's calling you, telling you they got scammed. By they got scammed by well, one of my so-called, I don't even look at it as competition because I can't, I don't compete against unethical, shysty type of people because I'm giving you value. I don't know what they're giving you and I don't like, I don't want to mention nobody's so name. Stuff, but, man, so. People need to look out for us. So before they buy a course, what should they look for? Fact check. First of all, check to see if the person is actually doing what they say they're doing. And then... Uh, so they should look and see if there's any kind of history. Um, so you mean like look and see how long they've been doing it? Correct. Things of that nature. Um, so like for you, like you go... And reviews, testimonials. That's, that's, okay. that's, a, that's another... That's probably the best way to go. If you got a website, if you say you're an instructor and you have a website, um, see if they got a testimonial page and people can go in there and look at the reviews. You're going to have some bad reviews, but... If the good outweighs the bad, then you, you got to come at a crossroads and decide if you want to deal with this person, number one. Number two, if you can actually call and speak to the person who's going to be instructing you and giving you the lessons. Okay. Okay, well, here's my phone right here. 757-515-1684. <laughs> call me. I'm going to so, pick it up. So go and see how long they've actually been doing it. I mean, you can follow them on YouTube. You can look and see when their business was established, things like that. Um, look at the testimonials, call and see if you can actually get a live person. Get a live person. That's, that's, because when people call me, they're like, man, every, I hear this all the time. I pick the phone up. Man, I didn't think you was going to answer the phone. Every time I pick the phone up. Man, I, I thought this was not, I thought this was fake. Like, why would you think that? So if somebody wanted to buy a course, or if they wanted to run roll in the course, how much should they spend? I mean, what, what, what's the price that you feel is acceptable for a dispatch course? A dispatch course? Well, it depends on the, so it depends on how long you're going to be training them. Like what we offer here at Dispatcher 101, Exodus Logistics Learning Center, is we offer a 90-day online self-paced course for 600 bucks, 599 Okay. And in addition to that, we have specials to have to mark off prices off of that number so what so let's just say you bought it at regular price 5.99 what would you get you get 90 days access you get to what you get 90 days access to our self-paced training portal which includes okay. four self-paced modules module one talks about how to get the carrier because you can't be a dispatcher until you get a carrier acquire a truck okay. driver a carrier truck driver owner operator to uh to dispatch four that's number one module one and we go into grave detail on how that's done okay module two talks about the load boards because most new dispatching companies are going to be getting their loads for the truck drivers that they're dispatching for okay. from the load boards okay okay module three how to book the load okay the steps is involved so once you find a load from a load board now you have to understand the process okay. and the workflow of how to book the load for your carrier Calling the freight broker, okay. uh, going through and getting the paperwork. If the carrier is approved by the broker or not, rate confirmations, that whole shebang, right? And then module four, finally, invoicing the uh, carrier for your service as a dispatcher, whether you charge a percentage per load that you book or a flat fee for the week. And that's how we structure our pricing points for our students. So, so it sounds like you get everything you need in those four modules. Right. Oh, I'm not done. 
Um, in the training portal, also in the 90 days, you get that, the modules. You get, we give you access to six load boards. Okay. We give you logins to six load boards. Now, most dispatchers know that you need an authority to access load boards. Well, not with us. We give you six of them with a seventh one as a promotional offer. So you get seven load boards to play with. You only need one to find a good load. We so, also well, hold on. You get seven different load boards. So how does that work? Is that how you make your money when you find a load? And that's what. You, so for free, well, I guess for five ninety nine. But as an additional included, bonus, yeah, yeah, included, included in, in that, right. I could go on those load boards if I'm a student. Yeah, these are live load boards, by the way. Okay, so they're live ones. I could go on there and actually get a route today. Correct. That I could then call a driver and say, "Hey, I got one for you," and get paid for it. That's correct. So I could make my money back. You can make your five ninety nine back in that first week, that first day, depending on the depending on the load you get for your driver, depending on how far they go out, okay. how far they drive over the road. Okay, so I got I got four modules right. that I get, right. and then I got seven load boards. Right. Is there anything else? Um, you get three ebooks. Three okay. of our, our I have three ebooks out. You get a glossary. You get access to. So wait, wait. What's the glossary? Is they going to tell me all the terms? All the basic terms. So as okay. new. So remember, this is a training platform for beginners. Those who know very little, if anything, about being a freight. So that's going to give me all the words. All that the I don't basic understand. words. You don't know what a truck is. You don't know what an equipment type is. You don't know what a load is. A load board. So we're breaking things down to its very simplest, simplest form, so okay. you can understand it from a very beginner's perspective. Because I want to establish a foundational. Overview knowledge, right. knowledge for you, so and then you can grow from that point. Once you have your foundation, you can build anything on it. Okay, okay. so I got a glossary. So if I don't know a term, I can go right there and look it up. I ain't got to go on Google. I ain't got to get it the source. I can just go right there and right. got all my stuff. Right. I got seven low boards, four modules, and three ebooks. Right. Also, <laughs> you have um, the as a dispatcher, you're going to need a, what's called a dispatcher packet. Uh, in our forms and documents page on the, in our module that you get access to as a member, ongoing member, we have three documents that make up the dispatcher packet. Okay. Which are the dispatcher agreement, which is the contract between you and the motor carrier, the truck driver that you're okay. dispatching for. That's number one. Number two, we have a carrier profile. Um, the carrier profile is what the driver, if I'm a truck driver and you're dispatching for me, okay. it's what I require of you when you're finding loads for me. Hey, I want to make $3 a mile at least. I don't want to put no more than 40,000 pounds on my trailer. I don't want to go to the Northeast because of the tolls and things like that. So that's the document number two in the dispatcher packet. The final document in the dispatcher packet is called a limited power of attorney, okay. where me, the driver, is giving you permission to represent me when you are calling brokers to book loads for me. Okay. Now, that document needs to be notarized by the driver because anytime someone else, someone gives you permission to represent them, Legally, it has to be a notarized document. That's a limited, not a power of attorney, but a limited power of attorney. So it's only limited to when the dispatcher is onboarding the carrier with the freight broker. So that's the only power that they have, the ability to represent them there. So that plus the ebooks, plus the seven low boards, plus the glossary, I'm not done. <laughs> plus the the four modules. Yeah, I don't forget. And we and we still only at five ninety nine. Still at five ninety nine. In yeah, addition so like to that, so there's no hidden cost. To where all of a sudden it's going to be like $3,000? No. Okay. In addition to that, we got uh, other forms and document types. We have other tools and resources that you need as a dispatcher that's in our um, library. Portal. Right. In the li yeah. And also, we have our, in addition to that, we have our um, Zoom, live Zoom trainings every second and fourth week, three times in those weeks. Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, and Saturdays at 12 noon second and fourth week and we have on our page the a calendar showing you when those days and times are and how to log in to the zoom call so i got all that stuff that, that we just talked about the the modules the glossaries the ebooks the load boards and i got live trainings and the live trainings all are recorded and they are also stored in our zoom video training library in the portal as well. So if you miss a live Zoom, you can go back and catch the recording because some people can't make those certain times. You're like Sunday, you may be in church or Wednesday at, at six, you may just gotten off work and you haven't gotten home in time. Okay. So you may only make it the Saturday ones live, but if you miss the other two, they're recorded. So you can catch them on the, on the replay in, the, in our library. Or if I just needed to watch them over again. So you I need can... to watch them over again to get the terms down or get the, get the concepts down. 
And if you have any questions, also, in addition, if you are an ongoing member, we have a private members only Facebook group. So you can join there with like minded people to catch up on terms and, and concepts. And we still at five hundred dollars. Still at five ninety nine. Well, well, technically, right now it's less than five hundred five hundred ninety nine. If you if you spread out everything that you get, yes. But tech right now it's less than five ninety nine. What is it right now? Well, it's fifteen percent off of five ninety nine, so it's like five oh nine. So you take fifteen percent off of that, about five. So it's five hundred bucks basically. So right up until the beginning of July, if I bought the program, I get everything we just talked about, and I get fifteen percent off. But then we just get off the phone with the guy and say he spent fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. One five zero zero for a course, and he got three PDFs. <laughs> and he three PDFs. I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but it's funny. So he got three PDFs for fifteen hundred dollars, which is ridiculous to me. Ridiculous. So how many guys are out there charging like fifteen hundred? You can't find them, and you're only getting three PDFs, and they tell you you can start in a week. I lost count. I lost count. Okay. I lost count. It's, and it's ridiculous. I'm. I'm. I'm trans. Call me, please call me. 757-515-1684. Email Exodus Logistics LLC at Yahoo.com. I will break things. I I gave him 15 minutes of content that he got more of for the $1,500 he spent for three PDFs. So what happens in a live training? Just out of curiosity. Uh, we have Q and A. We have live calls to carriers. We have live calls to brokers where we give examples on how to how to book a load. So like in real time. So, like, if I'm doing the, the self-paced stuff, so I'm at home, I'm doing my self-paced stuff, I got off work, mm -hmm. and I get stuck, and I write that question down, can I then ask that question in the live training? Well, of course you can, or, or any other question. Okay. Yeah. So, literally, if I get stuck at home, I can go to live training, just like it's a class, and you'll answer my question. That's correct. And I still only spent... Five hundred dollars or five ninety nine, but the fifteen percent off five hundred. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So why doesn't everybody just join you? I haven't a clue. <laughs> but <laughs> if you are interested in becoming an independent freight dispatcher, you want to work from home, um, control your destiny, build your generational wealth. Now it's going to take time. I'll be I'll, the one thing I am with you guys is honest and truthful. It's going to take time. You got to learn it. You got to understand what it is. That's why we give it ninety days. Right. And even after the ninety days, if you want to continue to access our course, there is a monthly subscription to continue that, that you, everything that you received in the 90 days, if you want to continue to receive that on a monthly basis, there is a small monthly fee for that. And that so, still gives you a low board, that, gives that you, still gives you access to the live trainings. So even if you got started and you weren't really moving as fast as you could, you could then go back and ask questions and see where you're going wrong and then make those adjustments and all of a sudden you could start seeing some results. That's exactly right. But I want, before we go any further, I got one question. Like, I keep seeing a lot of people talk about in a week. You know, you sign up and you could be dispatching in a week. That's a lie. Okay. So what, are, what do they mean when they say you could be dispatching in a week? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what they mean because I'll never tell a person you could be a dispatcher in a week. That if I did that, I would be lying to you. And that's one thing I don't want to do. You could be dispatching. The time it takes for you to dispatch is the same time it takes for you to learn and understand how to dispatch. Get a truck driver to agree for you to be their dispatcher and then find a load and book that load with a freight broker. So okay. whatever time frame that is for you, because everybody's different, right? Hmm. It's not a week. I tell you that. I can guarantee you that. So, but whatever time frame it is for you. So maybe in a week you can fill out the paperwork, but that doesn't mean you can get a route and actually be making money. Right. Uh, well, let me give a caveat to that. If you have, a, if you have someone that you know, a family member or a friend who's a truck driver, maybe, but still, it may take you a week or longer to learn the process and the workflow of dispatching and understand the relationship between you, the dispatcher, and that freight broker when you call them to book that load. So, so, what, are, so what are the truckers looking for when they hire a good dispatcher? Someone who communicates with them, okay. someone who's not going to lie to them, okay. someone who calls them when they need them and gives them the services that they require. That's okay. what truck drivers look for. All right. So that's, that's the kind of stuff that they can learn through the live trainings because you guys actually talk to... To live truckers in the training, of right? Of course. Yes. Yes. And they, they look for you to maintain their bottom line or to increase it. Okay. So, like, right now, I'll be honest with you guys, the rates are kind of down in the market right now, but that's, that's, that's just the industry. But when they were at a decent rate, truck drivers can gross between eight to 10000 a week. 
So if you tell a truck driver, hey, I can, I can at least meet that requirement or exceed it. Now, I've seen people go as high as between ten and 12000 a week. Gross, and this is gross. You haven't, truck drivers haven't factored in their fuel costs, their insurance, tires, maintenance, things of that nature, but you're grossing that for them. So imagine if you're grossing eight to 10000 a week for a truck driver and you charge 10% per load that you dispatch. That means eight to 10000 for the truck driver is 800 to 1000 gross a week for you. All right, I'm just throwing numbers out there just to give you a, the concept of it. Okay. So now that we're talking about what you, about numbers, so what could, I mean, this is good because I mean, obviously people's work ethic is different. Obviously, you know, different parts of the country, the, the availability of routes and things of that nature will affect what you can make. But what could you make as a dispatcher? What's a, the what's a, what's a, what's a possibility? That's a great question. It's a variable question because it depends on how many trucks that you're dispatching. How many trucks can one dispatcher handle by themselves hmm. before they have to scale or grow their company by bringing on another person to hire them as a sub-dispatcher? Well, I often say you can make six figures if you, ha if you are maintaining over-the-road truck drivers between three and five. Okay, well, and, break, break that down, break that down. Okay, so, so one how, truck, would a, how would a person, what would a person have to do a week and how would they get to it if they wanted to do six figures? So what would they have to do in a week? Okay, so get your first, get your first driver. Let's okay. say you charge 10%, All right. right? Get your first driver. If you can maintain grossing them, let's say, let's do a small number, six to eight, and I'm gonna bring my calculator, six okay. to eight um, thousand dollars a week. All right. One driver, right? And get my calculator up. There we go. So if you're doing six to eight thousand a week for that one driver, ten percent, that's six hundred to eight hundred for you because ten percent of six thousand is six hundred, ten percent of eight thousand is eight hundred. So you're grossing six to eight hundred a week for yourself for mm -hmm. that one driver. So that's mm -hmm. sixty. So let's go. Let's go the middle number, 700, 6, 800, so the middle number is 700. So let's say 700 a week for one carrier, right? How many carriers, truck drivers, owner operators can you handle by yourself as a dispatcher? Mm -hmm. What do I mean by that? If you got five carriers, you mm -hmm. want to give the fifth carrier the same level of service as you gave the first carrier. Absolutely. If you, can't, if you get to a point where you can no longer do that and that number is five, then it's time for you to scale and bring somebody else on to help you. Let's say that number is five. Let's okay. say most people say, I can handle five drivers. That's fine. Okay. Nothing. I can handle five drivers. And you can if you put them in the same lanes, mm -hmm. right? And what is a lane? A lane is where a driver picks up a load and drives and transport that freight and deliver the load to the destination. That is a lane. Oh, so what you're saying is, so based on this number, so you got one truck driver bringing you 700 a week. So if you got another truck driver very similar to that in the same field, to do the same route that you already knew was running, you would have two people bringing you 700 a week, which would be 1,400. Okay, so 1,400 times 52 weeks is what? And that's just two drivers. Okay. That's 728, 72,800. Okay. Gross. All right, so you could do this as a full-time job is what you're telling me. Yeah, but this is part-time money. Okay. And that's, that's just two drivers. Two drivers. Let's imagine if it was five. Okay. You're averaging 700 a week for one driver. Let's say you can handle, let's say just three. Okay. Three. So seven times three is 21. Let's be, let's be fair. So that's 2,100 a week. Gross okay. to the dispatcher. 8,400 right? a month. Times, you said 52 weeks. Right? Yeah. 109,200. Okay. So three Six drivers. Figures. And is that unrealistic? Three drivers? No. No. Not at all. Okay. So that was like if you were a mom. Because the reason why I say it, it's not unrealistic because, again, if you give the same level of service to the third driver as you did the first driver, now, what I mean by level of service is you're booking them loads consistently, keeping their trucks running and not leaving them on stuck time, anywhere. On OTP, OTD, on time pickup, on time deliveries. Okay. You're keeping them running. The trucks are constantly moving. They're getting their reset hours. They're resting and they're, they're just keeping flowing. Mm -hmm. you, you're grossing them between six to 8,000 a week. And let's say you let's say seven thousand. You charge ten percent. That's seven hundred to you. Gross, mm -hmm. right? Three drivers. You're doing that consistently. Okay. One hundred nine thousand two hundred. So is that Gross. something that they'll actually learn how to do when they're taking the program? Yes. Okay. Yes. So and I'll teach you strategies on how to get there quicker. Okay. In other words, in the training, I show I I advise new dispatchers to focus on 
certain truck drivers who drive certain what's called equipment types, okay. dry vans, flatbeds, reefers, right? If you focus on the dry vans, flatbeds, and reefers, those are the types of equipment types that makes the most money out here. Because if you throw a rock on any major interstate, you're going to hit one of those types of trucks. Okay. Right? So, now, now, I mean, I'm, I'm going to ask you one more time. <laughs> okay. So, you're saying that three drivers, $700 a week is not some astronomical number. Why would it be? Okay. And I'm, I'm giving wait, you wait, the low wait, end. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, you're giving me the low end, right? And it's not astronomical. But the course only costs $599, regular price, even when it's not on sale. So I could recoup my investment money. First week. In the first week? Okay. So everything after that would be profit, right? So first week, I could get my whole $599 back. And then every week after that, I'm good. Now, you are. Technically, you are. But you also got to be a business-minded person. You got to manage your finances right, make sure your overhead's good, make sure your expenses are good and all that stuff. I'm giving you gross numbers. Right. But if you are a terrible business person, you're going you're gonna to mess that up, obviously, right? Okay. But, but yes, conceivably, yes, that are, those, those are the numbers. And you got three trucks at those numbers. When I said I give, I'm giving you the low-end numbers, right now rates out here are low. You can average about six, you can gross for the truck drivers six to 8,000 a week. If you're running them in good lanes and there are those yeah. equipment types that I mentioned, dry vans, flatbeds, and reefers, right? Refrigerated trailers and stuff. And, we, and I'm throwing terms out here to you guys, but in the course, I will explain to you what they are. So, so these terms, are they in the glossary? Yes, they are. Okay. Yes. So if I bought the course, I'm being funny, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. The course, yeah. The course yeah. is in the glossary. I feel you right. asked me this already, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'm being a little redundant. I get it. Right. You know, but those, the gloss, so if you kind of confused, you know, you didn't really right. know, and you literally were a beginner. Right. You could learn from scratch. From scratch. You know. And that's what the course is designed for. This is a beginner's dispatcher one-on-one -on -one training for beginners. Someone who knows very little, if anything, about this industry. So what if I had a felony? Okay. Could, could I still be a dispatcher? Yes, you can. Because this is your business. You're forming. You can have a felony and, and still create a business. There are plenty of felons out there who are millionaires. Okay. Who so, create their own businesses. So what if I don't have a college degree? So? Can I still be a dispatcher? Yes. Okay. So what if I've been fired a couple of times? So? Laid off. So? Okay. Never had a job. So? Okay. Got kids. So? Okay. So pretty much if I have the energy and integrity... Plus Wi-Fi, working phone, and a laptop. That's that. No, those are the requirements. Having okay. a felony is not a. Yeah, those of you need an internet service, a laptop or desktop, and phone or landline, yeah. cell phone or landline, and you can take off from there. Later on, as you grow and scale your company, you want to add to that. But those are the base equipment requirements for starting and and a business set up already. So why don't you think more people are involved in dispatching? That's a good question. Um, I I'm not sure. I can't answer, but. Transportation industry is a good industry to be in. It's not going anywhere um, cause, because freight moves every day. I mean, the clothes we wear to the food we eat has been transported in some way, shape, or form in a truck or manufactured at a facility and shipped to a location, a retail store. We use consumers. We, we're more consumers than we are producers as a society, right? So, like, so, just, like just go back to during COVID. The whole world stopped. Right. Okay. Were trucks truck, still moving? No, yeah, exactly. Trucks didn't stop. Okay. So water, still had to get, water still had to get delivered. Food had to still get delivered to the stores. So, so if trucks didn't stop, that means the dispatchers didn't stop either, right? I made more money, and I know people are gonna be like, "What are you doing?" I made more money in COVID than I than I have outside of COVID. Okay. Because because the demand increased. So if you understand supply and demand and, and economics, the demand increased. And the so, urgency as well. Exactly. So. Okay. So again. What exactly is a dispatcher? A dispatcher is someone, so the word dispatch literally means to send off, Okay. right? To send out, send off. So you're sending out your truck drivers on routes or on loads mm -hmm. from picking up at a shipping location, mm -hmm. transporting the freight safely and securely, and delivering to a receiving location. And you're being paid to do that for your truck driver through a dispatching contract, a dispatcher agreement. Okay. And That's I the don't, literal meaning of it. Okay. And I don't need a degree. I don't need to have gone to any kind of, you know, private college or 
Institute. I prefer you not to have a degree so I won't have to waste the time of deprogramming you from that okay. mentality. I'd rather you come in fresh, right? Okay. Because people who have degrees, they have a tendency to think, well, you know, this is beneath me or I know more than what I think. But then they get surprised when they come in here and learn like you're in an industry that doesn't care about a degree. They want to know that you know a truck driver can care less if you have a, a, a bachelor's, a PhD or whatever. Okay. They want their load and they want to get paid for it. So, so. so the everyday Joe, as long as they have a laptop, Wi-Fi and a working phone, could do what you said, which is that 700 times three per week. Right. Okay. So you could do the 8,400 a week with no degree. You could have a felony. You could have kids. And I could do it from home, right? You could do it from home. In your pajamas. Whatever you want to do with it. Okay. So you could literally cash in from your couch. I'm still in that phrase, but yes, cash in from the couch. It's mine now. It belongs to me. So, but yeah, still in it. It's mine. So. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's take a break and then we'll get right back, man. And we'll talk about freight brokering. Okay, freight brokering. All right.